Paper computer games are a series of adventure games on paper. They're kind of like computer adventure games, except obviously they're not on a computer. We created them as kids because at the time we couldn't make actual computer games for each other, but we quickly discovered they have their own unique kind of fun that isn't really matched, at least not in the same way, by computer games. Instead of playing with a computer, you're playing with a person that gives you a lot more freedom because it means you can try doing anything, not just the options the computer has pre-programmed in. This also means that when you talk to another character, they feel like a real person. You can say anything to them. It started with just me and my friend Chris, then it spread to my whole friend group, everyone making their own unique games, and now that I've started this YouTube channel, it's spread to a whole new community. This channel is not just about my paper computer games or the ones made by my friends, it's about yours too. This channel is about PCGs by anyone in the community. Here's how it works. You draw a game like this. And then you play it like this. This is you, and you're trapped on this floating island. There's only one way off, it's uh, this way, and there's a locked door bar barring you. What do you do? I'll pick up this key and use it to unlock this door. It works! It's that simple. Player says what they're gonna try to do, and you tell them if it's gonna work or not. <laughs> that was easy. Where's the real challenge? Don't worry, I get a lot harder. Try this one. Okay, so now you're on a different floating island. Uh, what do you do? I'll take the key. You can't. It's in a cage. I'll take the key. Your fingers are shocked. The cage is electrified. Hmm. There's gotta be a way to get that key. Paper computer games have a lot of puzzles like that one, but there's a lot more to them than just that. Sometimes you have to fight enemies like this. Okay, you got out of that island, but now there's a guard coming after you. He's like, S stop or I'll shoot. He's inconsequential, not worth my time. I'll walk right past him. He shoots you, you're dead. Fine, save game. You can say save game to go back to before you died or just back before you did something. I'll jump him before he has a chance to shoot me and knock him out. It works. He was unprepared. He's not used to actually fighting people, so you knock him out. Sometimes there's exploration. Okay, so here's you. This is the this is the the walkway you came from, and there's two other walkways going over here and over here. And there's also a mini fridge in the middle of the room. What do you do? All right, first let me see what's down this passage. Okay, so you follow that passage, and it leads here. Sometimes you have to talk to characters to figure out what's going on. I'll talk to this guy and I'll say, hey, what is this place? Where are we? He says, we're in infinite prison. As far as we've been able to tell, it goes on forever in every direction and there's no way out. The possibilities are endless. Some games are only one page while others are hundreds of pages long. It's up to you how long to make your paper computer game. Paper computer games can be about anything set in any world dreamt of your, by your imagination. But the cool thing is, a lot of people in the PCG community have connected their games together in a massive shared universe. The PCG universe. You can contribute to that universe. You can feel free to use our characters' stories and do new things with them. The stories you make in your games will be considered an official part of the saga. Or you can make your games completely standalone. And maybe others will build on them, creating new universes. On this channel, I do pretty much anything related to PCGs. I make PCGs, I play them with my friends or members of the community in live streams. I make PCG how-to videos, PCG video essays, even theory videos about the PCG universe. In my series, PCG News, I report on new PCGs by anyone in the community. Yes, that includes yours. So hop on board. You can try making your own games and then, and then play them with others in our PCG Discord, linked in the description below. 
or play someone else's games. There's a PCG shop where you can download other people's games for free, including mine, and even post your own games up there. It's a whole world to explore, and I hope you guys will add to it and make that world even richer than it already is. Thank you guys so much for watching, and PCG you later.